to the Rumble and the Rumble means that Hong Kong and United Kingdom C are starting. You ready? Because I do. Are they ready? Hopefully they are. We are getting into the game and we are getting right now. Yes, man. Three versus three. Three versus three. Shut off and fantastic. Controlling all the damn transitions. Really thank you, Super Bua, for calling me Hombre Grueso. But a bit more thank you for those sick, beautiful, and fantastic $20 donation. Really damn appreciate it. <coughs> everything, everything to keep going and motivated. It helps. But now we have Rare Name. He's a strong player. Green and red, I don't know them. This uh, Hong Kong team is pretty new. And then we have Laurel, Huna, and Jiu, Mad Bro. Well, with that nickname, he's gonna be angry, probably. So, ay ay ay. Well, we have civilizations, Hans, Mongols, and Mayans for both teams. And we have Flank, Mongols, Pocket, Hans, and Mayans. Perfect position from Hong Kong. While we have Mongols and then Hans on top and Mayans at the bottom. Well, it's gonna be complicated from United Kingdom Z, I guess, because Hans is, is the beautiful, in my opinion, the best damn, the best civilization for Thank sure for to be there, to be there in a pocket position on Arabia. Definitely. This is desert like Arabia. Desert like Arabia means that the map is gonna be crap more crap more crap than the others so oh the bettings i forgot let's go for the bettings yes let's go for the bettings and the bettings is who is gonna win this right who is gonna win this one then i'm telling you hk or united kingdom z starting and you have right now five minutes from now on then I have also to put there that this is that's why uh, this is nations nations cap 2017 and this is round of 128 best best of three best of three I think we can see everything there let me see if the scoreboard is perfect it is it is and there you go. We continue. We continue now with the game. And the game say that Blue player has berries at the back, wood at the back, main goal at the back, which is absolutely, absolutely nice. We can see how Teal Mayas with Eagle is going directly to the tall center. Is he gonna eat? Is he gonna eat? He's eating the TC. He's definitely eating. He's starving. That Eagle is not gonna be fat anymore. Bye bye, Eagle. No, he's saving the damn Eagle in the last second. Whoa. Nice. A bit of lucky, in my opinion. Then, Teal has exactly the opposite situation because he has goal forward, berries at the back, but with heals, the wood with heals as well. Not a good map from Teal. He's not finding. Oh, he has the ship that he's not taking. All right. Then let's go to the other flank. Other flank berries forward, wood forward, but he's gonna wall and gonna wall like this, so he's gonna be fine. He has also a lot of forest at the back, which is cool. And the main goal. It's on a side, but forward and far from the tone center. What that means, he will have to, to protect it. It's not the best spot for him. Definitely not. He can wall it here, but three villages on wood with the Mayans? Only three? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like his map. I don't like his map. This is open. He need to make all the buildings here. The goal is super forward. So if he's gonna make all those all those buildings here forward, gonna be dangerous since his flag is Mongols and he might go aggressive. Then all the part he need to wall everything to have a good map. Need to wall everything at the back or open and with the hills. I don't like his map. The wood is not good to defend when you have on the hill. This is far from the TC. So that reasons I think is not a good map. In my opinion, blue for me has a good map. Everything at the back and then he can really wall like this and focus in this side only. Yeah, yeah, and you can wall, everyone can wall everything. But it doesn't mean it's a good map if you can wall everything, because you have to wall everything. Then yellow, yellow, wood at the back, main goal at the back. These skills are a bit annoying and he has also two big forces in front. Okay, well, this is super open, super open, so he really needs to be careful. And he has what? 
He's the hands, I remember now. Okay. Oh, be careful with the eagle. Is he gonna lose the eagle? What happened with those eagles? Never died? Yeah, it seems that never died. Anyway, we can see how both flanks are behind. Why? Both with the loom? Yeah, but only with the loom too. And they are already hmm, one population behind. No, not really. Look at rare name. Blue, it's on the way to feudal age. 22 population. Why teal? I don't know what the Hyuna is doing. Let's go to Hyuna point of view. Hyuna is not going up with the Mayans. It's gonna go up 24. Oh, look at the walls he's doing. Ay, ay, ay. He has six villages on berries. The build order, not the best. Let's see now if he's gonna make another Lambic camp and where he's gonna make it. Idle time, idle time, and more idle time. He's gonna take the ships with all villages. You need to make another Lambic camp, in my opinion. Definitely. Anyway, the barracks is there. Now let's check the pocket fast. Uh, he lost already one villager and gonna lose another. He's without the loom. Whoa, big balls, man. Big balls. But you're gonna be mad. Definitely. He lost one villager. He's about to lose another. Well, he did the loom now. And purple is 25 population. The same than red. But red with the hands is going up 25. What the hell? Let's go to Moyet point of view. This is, this is really fast, man. 25 population up. He's gonna be able? Well, he's pushing all the deers. So he's gonna go incredibly fast. We'll go up probably 27. Let's see if he's gonna do it. Now, he's gonna eat the TC. Look at purple, man. That start is the start that you never wanna get. What the hell? Okay. Now he's gonna make the stable and the blast bit probably there, exactly. And his wall in front. That goal is not good. Why? You cannot make a TC exactly there. Well, he can make a, in the downhill. But uh, we will see. We will see what they do. Teal now is walling absolutely everything. Barak walling all. Five villages on goal. And here, well, one farmer. And uh oh. Okay, he's doing another archery range there. On a side. Okay. Well, Blue is coming with militias and he's coming forward. Forward? Gonna make the tower in that forward goal, James Sha. Forward goal? Yeah, but he's going around. What What the hell? Why he's going around? Rare name. Yeah, man. He's playing. He's gonna make the tower on, on wood, not in the goal? Indeed. Yeah, he's mining a stone and he wants to go super aggressive. Anyway, guys, red, red is <laughs> Moyet. Moyet is on the way to Castle H with 26 population for 10 minutes 56 seconds. He's gonna have a night there before all the player is even going up. Unbelievable because GU Mad Bro has over 1000 foot, over 1000 foot, but no goal. Now he has the goal and he's going up 16 minutes 22. With 27 population, that means one villager more, one minute and 26 seconds. One minute and 26 seconds, and Purple is doing a second mining camp. Is he going monks? Why you make a second mining camp, man? Ay, ay, ay. The basic tutorials, man. Basic tutorials for the fast castle, man. That's absolutely bad. Bad. You don't go to mining camps. Too much wood for that. When you are going to make a TC probably there. You don't need it, man. Okay. I really think that Red did a good job. He's super fast, man. What the hell? He's crazy fast. He's there already with the tower on his face. He's taking the berries, taking the wood. And right now, he's doing you the, are first, the first archery range. I feel bad, you chops. Really. What the hell, man? We are doing a, a, a tournament game and you and you make that a stupid thing? I'm sorry, but it's not funny, man. <sighs> and welcome to the channel after a long time. Ass. Now, five villains on a stone. And those villains on... Oh, doing a lot of villains. The tower, the panic mode is real. The panic mo mode is absolutely real. Okay. Oh, wow. Be careful, man. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You miss it a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Let's see because the, the panic mode is real. Okay, okay. Let's go focus in the other in the other side. Oh man, but look at this. He's going with all the villages. Really? Nah, Huna, Huna it's Whoa! Ten villages! Ten villages on a stone! Uh oh. Two, four, six, eight, eleven! Eleven villages! Well, you know that at some level the panic is is just terrible for the players. And you can see how green is destroying yellow as as well, because red is going there with the knights. Going there with the knights, so really complicated, you know? Really complicated game. Thank you for the oh. to my puppy. Who is that? Oh, Australia team hype hype hype. Thank you, really appreciate it, man. Thank you, really, really appreciate it. But you can see the rating here, man. It, this is total destruction. I mean, the difference between the teams, it's absolutely crazy, really. Well, Purple is there, trying to kill now those. And he's killing the village and gonna take down the tower. But yellow is getting destroyed. 36 population. Look how he's... Look at the Lamberjacks, man. Look at the Lamberjacks. He... What? A second barrack? Why you, why you want to make a second barrack? Because red is there? Ay, ay, ay. Well, he's going with the skirmishes. Not, not a single plus one. So his army is not going to do anything, really. Not going to do anything. He's killing now the villages. And yellow is, is basically dead. He's doing now another lumber camp. That's really complicated. Really complicated. Look at that. Okay. Forward lumber camp as well. Oh, well, this one is good. Population is the same between uh, teal and blue. But if we check blue resources... Yeah, look his resources, man. He can make the markets use buying resources and going up. Blastmith, and that's it. Right? Make another village, man. What he's not doing, I don't know. Green is gonna go up to Castellage, but really, these Hong Kong players, they are good, man. I mean, they know exactly what to do, right? And now, Hyuna. Oh man, his resources. Zero resources expected. He has. He has two farmers, man. Two farmers. It's absolutely terrible at this point. What the hell? Two farmers, man. At least Yellow has a lot of farms, but still, he's getting ready but with those arches, and Yellow has three army while Green has 23, he's on the way to Castellate, Purple is asking, flaring, and then what he's going to be able to do? Hmm, hmm. Mining, Castle Age. Well, the advantage is just. Uh, well, I don't know what right rating is this uh, Hong Kong player, but they can be perfectly, perfectly fine. 18 plus. I think they can be 17 for sure. They are, they are playing. Yeah, know exactly what what they have to do. You can see how red is going with three tone centers, a lot of farms. He's doing the market and monastery with only one stable because they know that the advantage is absolutely there. So Moyet, it's I don't know if he's gonna make more stables now. Yeah, he's gonna spam knights, but both are, yeah. Well, but you don't believe all the the, the rating. The rating not not all the times is real, you know. Look at those knights now, he's there and Teal got nothing at home to stop those knights, but he didn't notice? He really didn't notice that he was coming? I mean, this is unbelievable. I mean, he was hitting those, that lumber camp, then he, he see him come, and now he's sending all the villages, 20. Well, he could palisade, palisade like this, and it would be completely defend, protected. But still, like I said, when you get 
a rash. It's it's complicated. Now you can see how those arts is gonna take down the the knights probably. He's doing more knight. Oh well. Oh well. Well, he's doing now the bloodline, so you can see how smooth is his boom. He's going with more knights, camels, income only one, only one camel with plus one. The knights are still without any upgrade, but purple has 60 population, the red 74. What the hell? Oh yeah! Thank you, man. Thank you. Amazing for the for the subscription with the Twitch Prime. Awesome. Welcome to the channel. If you are new if not thank you for the support and amazing man really amazing you can see how purple chain barding armor chain barding armor and now plus one look at the camel two camels knight do you need help no how he's gonna need help he's the pocket he has a monastery he has also adding now more stables and another one so many stables so 83 population purple 65 65 the the advantage with the pocket is just fantastic fantastic yellow horse collar all right and uh well huna is doing the cartography before going castle age huna to know exactly what's happening he's not going castle age and he's doing the cartography it makes sense now he's doing two archery ranges in that in that area that it makes no sense for me nothing now he's doing some palisade he's not taking goal anymore oh well he's taking at the back okay but he could just use the market and go up castle age or ready i don't know what he's doing he has the plus one plus one but i really don't know what he's trying to do definitely not well at least purple and teal are are going to green oh well that's that's something but the knights from red is he gonna make the damage Oh well, Green is now in problems. He's in problems. He's definitely in problems. Oh, they are killing there. They are killing a lot. Yes. Coming. Let's see if Moyet has. Oh, he has the cartography. Interesting. So he's sending the knight. He put all the villages inside. They are attacking and killing. But even like this, even like this, Green is still with 71 population, while Yellow 50, and now he's on the way to Castle Age. Red. He's doing the plus two, so now he can kill a lot. Well, Purple has the plus two already, but he has a lot more knights. Look at the population difference with the pocket. He's just extremely sick. Man, 108, 68, 40 population difference. Husbandry, husbandry. All right, man, all right. One hundred eleven. Uh, killing, killing now. One village there from Teal? Was there or was there Arches? No, he's converting also some. He need to go back. Nah, this is. Oh, come on! Oh, Robotito Pan! Robotito Pan, I, you are here at this time. What time is it in your country? Tell, tell to the viewers. What time is it in your country? Extremely sick. Support. Watching now live. Whoa, man. You are, you are crazy, man. Amazing. Amazing, but now he's chasing all those knights. 121 population, 600 score different from the teams. This is looking so so good for Hong Kong, or well, and also so bad, so bad for the others, man. Rare name, well, they are doing the cartography, being in Castle Age, and I'm gonna drink some water because it's extremely hot. <laughs> okay, okay, I shut up, I shut up. Anyway, 80 population. And uh, look at this purple pocket 57 villages. Red pocket 103. 103 villages. Moyet patrolling, he has the night, but why he's not going? I, I, and I think red is playing a bit slow. I mean, like. A bit passive, he could destroy everyone, but he's not attacking. 
he's really not not attacking so I don't know man okay Botkin, Boso he's sending out the Knights he's chasing he still plus two he has plus one attack also now yellow is doing the Boso as well and green he's gonna make now the damage yes he's doing man he's gonna make it but red is on the way to Imperial just go back and when you reach Imperial this is going to be a total destruction yeah he's going to Imperial 36 minutes 36 minutes purple is now trying to cover a bit uh, to TL blue is with mongols doing also siege forward but I don't think Soki should use it oh he has a castle at the back doing some magondice of course the Magundays are not gonna do too much against those knights, it's a lot of knights as well, so... Nah, but the population difference is, is, is just crazy. Now red, you can see, he's raiding Villiers, raiding Villiers, more Villiers to purple. So it's just about time that they will call the GG, yeah. Well, at, the, it, at this point in the tournament, the first round is, is complicated, it's, it's really complicated. To see some uh, balanced games because there is a lot of teams that just join it in the tournament for fun. They be, they wanted just to play in the Nations Cup, but they know they really know that they have no chances to win the tournament or to, to to go far in the tournament because there is a lot of players with yes with super strong skills, man. Now he's sending the monastery with the monk, sorry, with the relic to the monastery. He's gonna be in Imperial with. 150 but the thing is that the flanks has like 70 population difference with his respective flanks as well so you can imagine green is up or up right also green is there doing the damage killing villages killing army killing everything man this is hong kong this is hong kong because there is no more teams hong kong so it's only one team in hong kong when i don't put a b c d or anything is because there is only one team and for that reason it's a Hong Kong as far as I know I think is there only one team Cavalier played Bard in armor and yeah well with Cavaliers and plus four send everything and, and kill everything right Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, watching this kind of a stuff, you you might learn more than watching the experts. With the expert, usually we don't pay attention to some details, and also they make less less mistakes. So you might not recognize your own mistakes with the expert. GG. Well, it's GG absolutely. So if they don't call it, it's because they don't want to to keep playing. You can actually keep keep, keep playing till they defeat you. Really. But that, it makes no sense, also it's not good for the tournament. We can now 175 population, any any of the United Kingdom Z reaching 100 pop. And now, look at this, Paladin, man. No, and no, no, because no politics, okay? GG well played, yeah, it's, it has been a total domination. GG, they are calling the GG. It's, it's huge advantage. Let's see what maps is going to, what is the whole map from United Kingdom C? Because I really, yeah, not surprised, but, uh, whoa. This uh, Hong Kong is, is a strong team, really. They can do a good job against all the teams. Let's see. Well, military, he got 46 army in the pocket, a lot, and he killed them most as well. All from Hong Kong got good radio killed. Well, rare name only 28, 29, but still, economy, huge boom by red. Villiers, 136, 103, and 84, and he got 84 because he was raided, raided by two, but the others, 60 and 40 Villiers, damn it. The advantage, definitely, definitely strong, really, really clear for Hong Kong, 1-0 guys, 1-0, stay tuned.